A single a tap of the board is a left mouse click. So if I want to advance the slide, I just tap the board once. Obviously, I can do that anywhere on the board. To get a right mouse menu, let's say I want to end the PowerPoint show. I hold the um, pen on the board for a few seconds, and then I get the right mouse menu. Of course, that changes depending on what program you're in. So now I can do end show, and then I'm back here. Okay. So again, a single tap. Now let's say you know I want to call attention to something on the board. So I want to go back into pen mode. How do I do that? Top one. Okay, see what I mean? <laughs> I never remember to delete, to erase my annotations before I go on to the next thing. So I'm just going to erase all now. I'll choose uh, red now. And because I'm, I was still in uh, highlight mode before, I just changed the color. Now it's really a red highlight. Just erase a little bit of that. Now, one of the things that we talked about um, earlier in the first session that we did was, well, what if I, so if I, you know, I added those notes the way I just did and saved them. It saves it as a JPEG, as we've talked about. And the question came up, well, what if I want to modify the actual PowerPoint? What if I want to put notes within the PowerPoint? Do you guys think you'd ever want to do that, need to do that? No? Okay. Okay. If you did want to, there's a way using the sort of base PowerPoint pen capabilities to do that. And when you close out of it, it would say, do you want to save these annotations? And you'd actually be changing the base PowerPoint file. But if you use the regular pen capabilities of Eno and save it, you'll be saving it as a separate file. Okay. And keep in mind, each page needs to be saved separately, whether it's a projected image with the annotations, or whether it's the, um, or whether it's these individual note pages. So if I save here, I'm just saving my first whiteboard page. I haven't saved any of my other ones. Okay, so they're saved one at a time. But again, they stay there until you erase <coughs> them. I don't have to do that right away. Um, so the keyboard, there might be times, um, like in this case, rather than doing the right mouse click, I can bring up the keyboard and tap uh, Escape. So you'll notice it does give you a red border around the, the keys as you type, so you know um, that you've done that. And again, you're not going to do a lot of typing with this, but you might, um, you might, you know, want to put in a URL or something like that, okay? And all of these buttons, things like the keyboard and the palette, you tap the button once to have them appear and then to get them to go away, you can either tap the same button over there or just tap the X and have that close up. And the actual keyboard is still functional. Yes, right, exactly, yeah. Okay. And just to show you, so now that we're in a, um, web browser, now these buttons are forward and back. 